Hey there, and welcome to the Do Life Big podcast. This podcast is going to be your jam if you want to live to your full potential and don't believe in half-assing anything in your life. If we want to do life big, that means we've got to get out of our own way because we only have this one shot to make it awesome. I'm your host, Kathy, and I'm a mom of three whose BFF is cold brew, a retired school teacher turned online entrepreneur and an author. I'm loud, bold, and will always keep it real. I'm determined to live my best freaking life possible, and I'm here to help you do the same. I'll be packing this podcast with tips, motivation, inspiration, and strategies to finally get you where you want to go. And we will have a ton of laughter along the way because let's be honest, we can't ever take ourselves too seriously, right? I'm so excited you are here with me today. Now let's get this party started. Hey, my friend, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Do Life Big. I am pumped to have you here today because today's episode is kind of going to be more of a wake up call kind of podcast episode. It's something that I've had on my mind for a while now, based on all the different conversations that I've had with so many different women out there. So I'm going to be talking to you today the exact same way that I'd be talking to my bestie who I care so much about because I care that much about you too. So this is going to be the kind of talk where it's kind of going to hit you right smack dab in the middle of the eyes, but it's only because I love you. You know that. So what am I talking about? I'm talking to you about your dreams. Think about the amount of goals and dreams that we write down on the damn vision board as each year comes to an end and we just keep moving that goal or we just keep moving that dream or that idea or whatever it is to the list of things that we want to accomplish the following year. And we just keep doing this year after year after year. How many years are we going to let go by where we keep postponing writing the book or moving to where we want to move to or finding love or maybe It's forgiving something in our past or starting the business. All of these things that you hold in your heart are meant to be out in this world. So this episode is to get you to just stop freaking waiting. Stop waiting. Stop waiting for the perfect time. Stop waiting to feel ready. Stop waiting for permission. Stop waiting for the money. Stop waiting to feel like someone is going to care about this. The only person who needs to care enough is you. You're the only one that matters because this is your life and you have full control over what happens. You're going to pick up the damn pen and you're going to do the research and you're going to start to take action to write that book if that's what you want to do. And why? Because that's what you're meant to do. And I know that you need to hear this talk today. I know you do. And I've been hearing a lot of different messages come in, and that's why I'm giving this podcast episode this topic today. Just this whole imposter syndrome, you know, talking yourself out of the things that you want to do because you feel like you aren't ready, or maybe that you're just not good enough, like you aren't worthy enough, or why bother because you don't really have what it takes. You talking yourself out of doing what has been on your heart. This has to stop. You're the one holding yourself back from the goals that you want to pursue in your life. And how many years are we going to let go by? You know, we're only guaranteed right here, right now, this moment. And that's why we need to take action right now. You know, I think back to when I had this idea to shift away from my first business, my health and fitness business, which was an online business that I had been doing for nine years. And I think back to how I had this idea about three years ago to create my own course to help online entrepreneurs revolved around mindset. It's called the Mindset Accelerator Program. And I had this idea and I wanted to do it so bad. And I knew it was what people needed. And I knew that it was what was missing. And literally for over two years, I kept pushing it aside and pushing it aside and pushing it aside because I kept telling myself all these BS, ridiculous stories like, you know, you don't really have what it takes. Why would you do this? Yada, yada, yada. And then finally, one day I drew a line in the sand and I was like, Kathy, seriously, how much more time are you going to waste thinking about this new business? 
just freaking do it. And I did. Now, I'm sure that you can relate to this, but, you know, in your own story and in your own way of what's that thing that you keep postponing, that idea that you have, and you just keep wasting time waiting, waiting, waiting. I mean, I was worrying about all this stupid crap, literally, from I'm just too busy, I have a toddler at home, or I have a new baby at home, I have three kids, how can I do this, you know, to, well, you know, someone is already doing this, to this other idea of, well, people know me for health and fitness, and I know that business really well, and I'm making really good income doing it, and now I'm going to be this newbie and this beginner in this new industry, you know... (laughs) It's amazing how we can literally try to just talk ourselves right out of what we want, isn't it? I mean, it's that constant voice in our head that keeps lingering, that keeps saying, well, this would never work because, or, you know, this is just a stupid idea because of X, Y, Z, or, you know, what's the point? So why bother? Or what if I do it and it doesn't work? Honestly, the excuses that we say to ourselves, and this was me included, They're freaking endless. The excuses are endless, but time isn't. So we need to wake up and we need to realize that life is seriously, it's just like a freaking melting ice cube. You know, I think that we all believe that someday will be the right time, that someday we will feel ready. Someday, someday, someday. I'm going to wait till this. I'm going to wait till then. I'm going to wait till... And we just keep saying someday, someday, someday. Listen, today... Is that someday, my friend? Today is the day. Today is that someday. And there has literally never been a freaking better time than right now. Now is the right time. You will waste your whole life and you will watch time tick by waiting for that someday to come. So you have on that little piece of paper, or maybe it's on your vision board, or maybe it's just tucked right inside your heart, but you have that dream that goal, something that you want to change that you're too scared to get started on. And today, it is ending. Today, we are letting all of that go. Today, you're going to stop waiting. You're going to stop wishing. You're going to stop waiting, waiting, waiting. The ice cube will be a damn puddle (laughs) that will evaporate if you keep freaking waiting. Today, we're going to make a commitment to ourselves, to yourself, that it's time to get started that we need to get started. You know, the biggest regret that you will ever have in in your life is that you didn't push through the fear, that you didn't push through the self-doubt and get started on the dreams that you have, on the life that you want to create. You know, and that's why this whole episode is dedicated to your dreams. It's dedicated to the fire and the courage inside of you and your capability for moving from wishing and wanting to taking action and making them happen. Listen, is it going to be easy? Hell no, it's not going to be easy, but it is going to be worth it. It's scary to want something and it's scary to want something different, but you know what's even scarier? Knowing that in your heart, what's keeping you from going after it and getting started is fear. You know, I want you to start seeing something bigger for yourself. Don't just go through the grind just to freaking go through the grind and clock in each day and clock out. I want you to start working on it. What is it that you want? Honestly, it just boils down to time and energy. That's all it is. Listen, you don't need to write the damn book overnight. You just need to be willing to pick up the pen. I mean, maybe you're someone who's just been worried about what everyone else is going to say or think about you. And it's that right there, that thought, that's kept you from creating, you know, your YouTube channel or starting that podcast. But whatever it is, we are on the journey of life and we owe it to ourselves to work little by little to make those dreams become part of our reality. And here's what I've learned. No one gives a crap really about what you do. And you want to know why? Because they're too busy focusing on themselves and their own journey. They're trying to figure out their own damn lives. The only one who is really standing in your way is you. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. And when you realize that it's you who is holding yourself back, that can spark a fire inside of you like you've never seen. And you know what? It sucks when you have that realization that it's been you holding yourself back this whole freaking time. But you want to know what sucks even more? 
spending another year or five or 10 or 20 never making the change. So step one is I want you to acknowledge that thing that's on your list or that has been on your heart. Acknowledge it. All right. Step two is I want you to take responsibility for doing whatever you can, big or small, to move toward it. You know, look ahead instead of looking back. Just inch your way day by day, week by week, month by month to creating a whole new life for yourself. And, you know, this isn't to say right now, I'm not trying to say that, you know, your life sucks. It's to say that your life is way too precious for you to not go after that thing on your heart to make your life the best life possible. That's why the name of this podcast is Do Life Big. If you're here listening, you're not here on this earth to play small and you know it. And the next thing I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to your energy. Stop wasting your precious energy with people who are literally sucking it right out of you. You know, and so I really wanted to spend this episode talking about this because I talk to people all day long, every day, who tell me their dreams and they tell me their goals for life and they tell me how badly they want it, but then they're just paralyzed by their own thoughts and by their own fear. And so if that's you and you can relate and you're someone who you know, like your inner dialogue is just not good. It tends to be more negative. It tends to be filled with more self-doubt. It tends to be you talking yourself out of things all the time. You know, a, just a simple way to get started is just grab that free guide that I put together at kathyreuter.com slash think this, not that. We can help to start to change the way that you're thinking. Start to replace those negative thoughts, those limiting beliefs with more empowering beliefs. So you feel pulled toward your vision. But I mean, think about how much energy you spend doing the things that you don't even really want to do. Just think about your day. Why not take a small amount of that energy and put it towards something that's going to propel yourself forward? No more wasting time and energy on the things we don't even really want or care about. And so take it seriously from this point going forward. And I'm not talking about making this huge, major change overnight. It's in the small daily things so you can start to honor what you want in life. Working on your dreams and putting in the work toward that, it is the greatest act of love that you could ever give to yourself because it's that that will lead to your joy and your fulfillment while you're here on this earth. So embrace the idea that it's not that you lack experience, you're just a beginner and you can't be an imposter if you're a beginner. And so that dream or that goal that you have that you've never done before, you're not an imposter. You are just a beginner. And that's great because guess what? That's where everyone starts. We're not going to let any more time pass us by. Do not waste your life doing things that don't fulfill you. You have the choice to change directions today. You're behind the steering wheel in your car. Just take the wheel and aim it in a different direction. So we need to start to direct our energy and our time toward the things that we want and not at all the things that we don't want. It doesn't matter how busy you think you are. Listen, you've got five minutes. You've got 15. It doesn't have to be this big amount of time spent each day. But something is always better than nothing because time is going to continue to pass no matter what. You're never going to ever feel ready or worthy or whatever, until you have actually started to move toward what it is that you want. There is nothing heavier than the pain of regret. And time is moving. And I don't want you, and I personally don't want myself either, to look back with all the I wish statements. If you want to go write the book, then go write. If you want to go back to school, go apply. If you want to do art, go do art. If you want to leave your relationship, then have the hard conversation. Today is that someday is my whole point. And just spending a little bit of time each day on something that truly matters to you is the secret to bringing more joy, happiness, and meaning into your life. You have to acknowledge your dreams. It is an act of love to yourself. Where you put your time and energy every single day will define the life that you create. So be very clear about what you want and take responsibility for creating the kind of life that you want. Each day when you wake up, just ask yourself, how can I pour time and energy today in just a small way 
into this thing that I really want to create. And this is how everything will start to change for you. It is never too late. You are never too old. You're not afraid. You're not unworthy. You're not an imposter. You are just a beginner. So what's that one action that you're going to take today? I want to hear it. Seriously. I want you to send me a message on Instagram at Katherine Reuter. And I want you to tell me that you listened to this episode. And I want you to tell me that one action that you are taking today that's going to move you closer to your dreams and your goals that you want. This is your one life. We're not playing small anymore. Today is where it all starts to change for you. And I know you needed to hear this episode. And so I hope it resonated. And I can't wait to read all the messages in my inbox. That way I can cheer you on. I can celebrate you. And I'm just so proud of you. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. You know I love you. I think that you're amazing. And thanks so much for being here. And I will see you the next time. Bye. Thanks so much for listening in. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time here with me today. You totally rock. Hey, listen, if you love today's episode, go ahead and tag me on social and go share this with a friend right now. Like, do it immediately before the day gets ahead of you and you totally forget. Couldn't be more pumped to be on this journey with you guys. Go make today awesome, and I will see you the next time.